Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike835 again coming at you with another G-Shock video review and unboxing. What is up YouTube? What is up? It's your boy 835 coming at you. Another G-Shock review. Today we have, let's see, the GD-400 Huff-1CR, of course, brand Huff, collaboration with G-Shock. Let's just pop a top and we'll see what we got. Of course, Cash International warranty card, manual, you know. Huff, flip top box. Let's get this baby sorted off to the side. There we go. This is the tin can that the watch comes in, as you see here. It's pretty awesome. You have like that uh, road cutouts, which is very interesting. And as you can see here, there's an H for Huff. It's really cool, in my opinion. I received this piece a while ago, but I haven't uh, done as much uh, video review and unboxing lately, but I've been getting back at it. So hopefully, uh, full steam ahead from here and uh, back doing what I love. So without further ado, just pop a top, put this aside, get rid of this awesome wrapping. Not really, but you know. And this is a piece right here. GD-400HUF for Huff-1. This piece uh, retails in the United States for uh, $190, as you see in front of you. It's the original tags from Casio. Very interesting design that this watch has. They start off with uh, the GD-400, which is a really cool model. More... Uh, Leaning more towards the old vintage G-Shocks with the bull bars, uh, real nice, tough look. I have uh, a few of these and, and they're great. The bands are really nice quality and um, I just really like the, the LED as you see here. This one says Huff because it's a Huff collaboration. Huff and Puff, Huff, Huff. <laughs> nah, not really. Uh, that's the details of the band. It has some cutouts. Um, Man, every time I see this piece, I won't lie, I see. I just think about a, a collector, a fellow collector by the name of um, DJ Fitzgerald. And every time I see this, uh, he actually, um, you know, he doesn't work with Cassie or nothing like that, but he did something like this recently uh, with a machine to his just personal G-Shock or whatever. And then just uh, down the line, Cassio did this design, so... Um, it's very interesting, um, and uh, I won't say anything else. But I mean, man, this is this. Every time I see this, I think of you. So it's pretty interesting. And this is the back plate, the GD-400 HUF. If you don't know what uh, the Huff brand stands for, it's uh, actually founded by Keith Huffnagel, and uh, he grew up in the streets of New York skateboarding. You know, like you know youth culture and in those days um uh, you know it was uh it was a it was tough tough to be uh you know fit in and so uh it was a real interesting story that i'm gonna tell you he was into uh skateboarding and uh, all the street wear and stuff like that and uh eventually uh in 1992 uh keith uh the owner of huff nowadays and since the beginning he moved to san francisco and uh and once he got to san francisco he uh he pursued his passion for skateboarding and there uh, eventually he became a professional and from there that springboarded him keith um into uh opening his uh, a small boutique uh by the name of huff and uh from there it springboarded into a national a national brand carried in in a lot of retailers uh, all across the world so it's just really cool uh, how a person from you know just skateboarding uh, made a made a great business out of it I mean that um, that really uh, like I said springboarded a road his uh, self into a uh, into business and uh, since uh, he has a brand and a clothing line well this is why uh, G-Shock came and uh, asked to uh, collaborate with him. Real nice watch, uh, as you see here. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, 
black piece, but it has a that bit of grayish tint in my opinion. Uh, let me zoom in here so you guys can see more of a detail on the watch. Love those bull bars, I really do. And uh, they did had a nice touch because the keeper they did the same design as the band, and the buckle is real nice as you see here, nice and black. And um, that's pretty much it on the Huff Piece GD 400 collaboration. Um, a lot of guys like these, and uh, they actually they they've been maintaining pretty good value. So if you guys see one for original retail price or something like that, I, w I wouldn't hesitate to pick it up. Even though it's a GD400, I mean, it's just, you know, it's the most rare GD400 uh, out to date. So, um, do yourself a favor, pick it up. It's a nice watch. Um, it has a real nice uh, size to it. I'm going to do something that I hardly ever do on my reviews, but I'll put it on my wrist. So you guys can see the, the size. It's real nice. I'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can see more of the detail. That's the watch on my wrist. Looks pretty, pretty darn nice if I have to say. It's been your boy 835. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Always forward, never back. Stay positive. One G at a time. Slow and steady always wins the race. But it damn, it's nice to have a big ass motor behind you. <laughs> Alright guys, later.